Hi everybody from a beautiful day in the Commonwealth. So today I'm at Dalton Farm. This is what it looks like in its naked state once it's been given to you by the old lady at Far Harbour. Cassie I think she was called. And um, yeah, oh man. What a mess. <laughs> where do you even begin with a, a horror like this? Well, I'll tell you where you begin. You download a mod by Nistran. <laughs> It's uh, it's Dalton Farm uh, redone. I cannot wait to see what it's going to look like. I just thought I'd show you uh, what it looks like with nothing. All right, I'm excited. Let's uh, let's download the mod and have a look. All right then. So there are two files with this. One is for the actual buildings, and there's a second uh, to decorate them, which is a transfer settlement blueprint. For now, I've just downloaded the file for the buildings. There's your workshop. Look how neat and clean and fantastic. Oh, I like the little wall. That is really cute. Oh, look at the glass in the windows. So nice and clean. Big rooms. Attractive home. Reasonable sized kitchen. Room for an office under the stairs, maybe. Oh, wow, this is so cool. Okay, so I'm going to download that transfer settlement blueprint. I know a lot of people don't like them because they find them fussy and whatnot, but I had a look at the requirements and actually I think I've got nearly all of those installed already for other transfer settlement blueprints and for my own decorating purposes. Look how nice. And a two-room cottage with a little, I don't know, you could have one kitchen, a little bathroom and a nice sort of bed sitting arrangement in here, couldn't you? Okay, well, we've got two settlers here at the moment and no bed. So let's install the blueprint and then see what it looks like. All right, so I've installed the uh, TSB for the internal fittings. And let's have a look at it now. I can see straight away that there's uh, one big bald spot where the dining table is supposed to be. Um, so I obviously haven't got all of the assets required. Look at the kitchen, so nice. I think I'm missing a Creation Club um, mod, which is annoying because it's not actually there. Uh, but never mind, I can find a dining table to fit in that spot. Look how lovely this deco is, though. Really nice. Let's see what the bedrooms are like. I haven't been in here myself yet. Okay. Gonna need some wardrobes, Bethesda. <laughs> I always say that. They never give you any blinking wardrobes, do they? I don't know why. I think I got some from Fallout 3, um, from a Fallout 3 mod for Fallout 4 somewhere. This is nice though, eh? Very little that I have to do in here, which is great. Very nice. I love that light. It's so beautiful. And in the other one, that's still completely empty. So I can do what I want with this. I've got my two settlers here, so I'll probably just end up... Um, I don't know, make this into another little cottage, I think, maybe for a couple more people. And there are water pumps, which I have yet to hook up. In here. Neat. Nice. And um, there's also a fusion generator around here. Look at all the amount of defences that have sprung up, which is brilliant. I don't need to worry about about that at all. I did build a little, um, plant a little orchard up here and assign them to this because these are like six food each, these trees. The lemons are only three. Um, but, you know, it's a nice thing, isn't it? It's nice to have a little orchard. So, yeah, the generator's down there. So, this is terrific. I have so little to do. This has just saved me so much time and it's so beautiful. I really love this. I'm going to go and see what else there is. I've got I've so many Fallout mods to look at at the moment. I am very excited. All right, I'll leave it there. Call that the end of this wee video. Say thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon for the next. Take care and stay safe, everybody.